Located approximately 220 kilometres offshore Western Australia, at the time of award, the Impex Ichthys LNG project was the largest subsea gas field development in the Southern Hemisphere. This project will see gas from five drill centres routed through 180 kilometres of infield pipeline and flexible risers, up to the CPF and FPSO for primary processing before being exported to Darwin through the 890 kilometre gas export pipeline. In 2012, McDermott Australia was awarded the URF contract for the engineering, procurement, construction and installation of the umbilical riser and flow line scope. McDermott's core values and company-wide initiative, taking the lead with QHSES, have helped to maintain a strong safety performance whilst completing over 20 million man-hours on the project. The engineering solution was developed around unique and challenging soils for a design life of 40 years. Conditions of sour service, high pressure and high temperature, coupled with hookup to the world's largest semi-submersible facility, have required the expenditure of over half a million man-hours and a number of innovative world firsts. This feat was managed by the Perth office and executed in several of McDermott's other global offices, including Dubai, Indonesia, Houston and the Singapore office, which has now been relocated to the new EPCI office in Kuala Lumpur. The sheer magnitude of the project required the procurement of over 600 million US dollars of in-field equipment from vendors across the globe. This, coupled with the unique and challenging design requirements, has resulted in many bespoke products, including the 12-inch production risers, 10-inch smooth bore gas export risers, and the world's first 42-inch forged body subsea bowl valves. Construction took place in Batam, Indonesia, at McDermott's in-house fabrication yard. Over 26,000 metric tons of subsea structures were fabricated and loaded out, including the riser bases, MEG distribution manifold, mid-depth buoys, spools, and the 8,500 ton riser support structure, currently the largest subsea structure ever installed. It was this internal fabrication capability that ensured the risks due to external interfaces were proactively managed and key milestones continuously met. Scheduled over a four-year period with multiple offshore campaigns, the installation phase comprised of structures, rigid pipe lay, moorings, hookup and the pre-commissioning of the subsea field. The two McDermott vessels at the forefront of executing the work were the DLV-2000 and the LV-108. The DLV-2000 is one of the most versatile and best equipped pipe lay construction vessels of its kind. Boasting just under 4,000 square metres of deck space, a 2,000-tonne main crane, a 250-tonne knuckle boom subsea AHC crane, a 100-tonne fixed boom ancillary crane, and a DP3 positioning system. On the project, the new build was used to lay umbilicals and install the larger structures and heavier spools, including the 42-inch gas export spool whose combined lift weight of over 570 tonnes makes it the largest subsea spool with a diverless connection system installed to date. The LV-108, built in 2015, is McDermott's most adaptable vessel in the fleet. Equipped with portside 400 and 100 tonne subsea AHC cranes and 2,000 square metres of deck space, it has exemplified its versatility on this project, operating in both construction and eye-hook modes. During the first half of the project, the LV-108 executed the installation and pre-commissioning of structures including the lateral buckling sleepers, spool supports, concrete mattresses and smaller spools ranging up to 8 inches in diameter. The second half of the project saw the LV-108 mode change to incorporate the real drive system and vertical lay tower in order to carry out the installation, subsea hookup and pre-commissioning of the floating facilities. A total of 25 flexible and umbilical risers were deployed subsea and pulled into the floating facilities. They were then laid over their respective arches and tied in, completing the connection of the field subsea gathering system to the CPF, FPSO and gas export pipeline. 
The successful EPCI execution of the URF scope to the highest safety and quality standards is testament to McDermott's ability to deliver project excellence as a Tier 1 contractor worldwide.